Solar eclipses are an amazing phenomenon that occur every few years throughout the world. Fortunately, a solar eclipse will be visible in North America on Monday, April 8th, 2024. Although it's in North America, the path of totality, where the moon completely covers the sun, will span diagonally from Texas to Maine. The most popular viewing locations will be Austin and Dallas, Texas, Columbus, Ohio, Montreal, Quebec, and Indianapolis. This will be a great opportunity for drone photographers to capture the eclipse with their aircraft and get some unique shots. So let's walk through how to photograph a solar eclipse with your drone. Before you put your drone up in the air, safety is extremely important, not only for yourself, but for your camera. Just like you've probably been told your whole life, never stare at the sun unprotected, even during a partial eclipse. This will harm your vision, including a significant risk of lasting impairment and potential blindness. To avoid all of this, wear eclipse glasses. You can usually find them in a bulk package for super cheap. Online sites like Amazon and B&H Photo have them in packages of six to 10 for around $10. You will need to wear these glasses at all times, except during totality, when the moon completely covers the sun. I will explain more about the phases shortly. Now that you have your eyes covered, no pun intended, you need to purchase a solar filter to protect your drone's camera lens. These filters significantly reduce the sun's brightness, safeguarding your camera sensor. Even if you're looking through a live view screen from your drone app, this is crucial for protecting your eyesight. These filters can range in size and price, but the best bet is to look for ones that have a one-size-fits-all solution. If you don't have time to buy a solar filter or they're just too expensive, an ND filter is your next best bet. They act like sunglasses for your camera, helping you to expose properly in bright situations. If you do go with an ND filter for photographing the eclipse, make sure you use the darkest ND filter you have. An 8 stop is good, but a 16 or 32 stop is even better. Now let's get into your camera settings. For the solar eclipse, there are a few different phases it goes through. There is a partial eclipse, when the sun will appear to become a small crescent. The second phase is when the total eclipse begins. As the sun is almost fully covered by the moon, you can see effects like Bailey's beads and the diamond ring effect. The third phase is totality. Once the moon is completely covering the sun, only the sun's corona is visible. Depending on the location, this phase can last around two to four minutes. This is also the phase where you can take your eclipse glasses off. The fourth phase is when totality ends and the moon's shadow starts moving away. Finally, the fifth phase is when the partial eclipse ends and the sun looks like it's normal shape again. Here are some settings to try out for each phase. For phases one and five, when the sun is in a crescent form, try a shutter speed of around 1 500th of a second, an aperture of f8 to f11, and use ISO 100. For phases two and four, try a shutter speed of around 1 500th to 1 4000th of a second. I recommend taking multiple photos from different shutter speeds during this period to make sure you capture at least one correctly exposed shot, and then have an aperture of f8 to f11 and use ISO 100. For phase three or totality, use a shutter speed of around 1 100th of a second to 1 15th of a second, an aperture of f8 to f11, and ISO 100. And once you have your camera settings dialed in, you of course have to factor in the flight path of your drone. Just like any other flight, make sure to be safe and follow FAA guidelines. If you are in the path of totality, it will almost appear as nighttime for a few minutes, so also keep that in mind. Here's a chart that shows some helpful times and locations of when the eclipse will be occurring. I personally was able to view and photograph the 2017 eclipse in Oregon, and I will say it was one of the most spectacular events I have ever seen. No picture does justice to what this phenomenon looks like. So if you are located in one of those areas where totality will happen, I highly, highly recommend going out to view it, even if you can't take pictures. On top of everything else, always remember to be safe and wear eclipse glasses. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more drone tips. And let us know in the comments if you are going to try and view or photograph this eclipse or if you have done so in the past. Until next time, blue skies and safe flying.